Welcome to another episode of House of Pain. Today we're going to do something pretty easy, straightforward. We're going to make a fresh pesto. Um, the Italian side of me, we love pesto, and uh, I grow my own basil. And you can see my garden right now. We got pepper, basil, and tomatoes. The tomatoes, I don't want to talk about the tomatoes. They didn't really work out too well. But um, right now we're going to use uh, pick our basil. Uh, we'll take it inside, and I'll show you guys. It's a real easy, simple recipe that my grandmother showed me, and we'll just make fresh uh, pesto to go on our pasta. So let's get to picking. All right, we inevitably got, which I knew we would, we have our uh, official kitchen helper, Landon. Say hi. Hi. We're gonna rinse off the basil chop it up, add a few ingredients, and then we're gonna have fresh pesto. So let's, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna find out that uh, it takes a lot of basil leaves to make a little bit of pesto. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna chop this up and uh, we'll get uh, some pesto going. Uh, next, we're just gonna add a couple ingredients, olive oil, some melted butter, a little bit of salt and garlic. That's our pesto. So let's finish this up. We're not really measuring them. It's just kind of consistency we want. Just a little uh, kind of a, um, kind of a soupy, but yet it still kind of holds together uh, firmness to it. So first I'm just gonna add the olive oil until it gets just a little bit wet. And I'll slowly add the butter and garlic in. So we got it, the consistency we want. I don't like it over oily. Um, when you buy it in the store, you know how it has that layer of oil on it. Um, we always get rid of that. We don't like it, it's gross. Um, so I like it fresh, we'll just wrap it up. You can do little serving size, you know, and then put them in the freezer, put them in a ice tray or something like that, and then just pull them out as you need it. And then you have delicious tasting, fresh basil pesto. All right, continuing on with projects that we need to get done for the day. So we have a ton of girls clothes, the little clothes that were donated, you know, given to us by our in-laws, hat passed down. There is uh, so much of this that there is no way mathematically this baby will ever be able to wear all this stuff. Does my wife listen to that? No, that's okay, because um, she's kind of the queen of the house, whatever she says goes, so we're gonna vacuum seal these up. We're gonna, we're gonna vacuum these up in that uh, those vacuum bags with just the standard issue vacuum, and uh, hopefully store them forever. And I really can't complain about it, but he started doing. Um, Lana, what are you doing over here? Dishwashing, and uh, as a yeah. father, I don't know if I could be any prouder of a chore that he would have picked. You having fun? Mm -hmm. Drinking dishwater. One of the projects I didn't take you guys along with me, but that's okay. Probably would have bored you. 
Don't worry about all the details about that. But what uh, I ended up doing today was making pasta. Eggs and flour, it's the only ingredient. It's all you need. What I'm thinking about doing now that I got some of this stuff done, let's just go relax out by the pool. Oh, Landon, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play in the pool. Yeah. show you guys uh, some of the projects that I've done uh, this one was really cool but the the filler in there didn't quite exactly turn out like I thought it was gonna be by filler I mean the actual plants but I built myself a garden as you can see that just took apart old pallet wood here built a little box put these posts in here put just some netting I got at the hardware store and I made a little door to keep the critters out. You can see, just sits that. Lid comes up, harvest any of my plants. Looks like we got some jalapenos. Actually, this one's the Serrano. These two are Serrano jalapenos back here. This is a ghost pepper, but it uh, hasn't really given me anything yet, so. And then this ba big vacant void here was cilantro, garlic, and onion. But I've got, behind my property is this row of just crap trees. It's all overhanging. And so there's a lot of pests coming here. It wasn't probably the best spot. Cilantro got a couple uh, stalks out of it. I've never had any luck with cilantro ever um critters ants i don't know just what's eats them so never really got anywhere with the cilantro uh, but basil however different story check it out this basil is like the gift that keeps on giving landon <laughs> you sound like you're dying over there all right back to the tour of the garden so as you can see Right here, each one of these has three separate stalks on it. Now what happens is, is I pick them off, two more shoot out from there. So it's just kind of a self-dividing plant, lasts forever. Um, my mom told me to plant marigolds because it keeps the critters out, but I'm thinking like big critters, mammals, rabbits, things like that, because this thing, I got tomatoes, the bugs had a field day with them. I put that seven down, didn't work, not at all. So if you got any uh, tips on pest control for a, a vegetable garden, uh, by all means, let me know. Some of the other projects I did, built myself this deck. Didn't get HOA permission, didn't know if I had to, but it's in the backyard. What they can't see, they can't get in get on me about so uh what's cool with the deck is i made it eight eight feet by 20. The reason is because i didn't want to do a whole lot of cutting okay see each one of these boards is just a straight eight feet straight from lows tilt it out you can see some of the foundation i've got these blocks down there it's had a, a year now it's held up still level no problems the hardest part was actually grinding was drilling into the uh, foundation. I don't know if you know, maybe it's just my foundation or anybody else's foundation. Uh, there's little pebbles and rocks in there that it just a normal concrete grinder just couldn't handle. 
hopefully do a couple more projects once the weather takes a, a different turn because right now it's just way too hot to do anything. Something else I want to show you guys. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, we built a doghouse again out of pallet wood. Uh, we even shingled this thing. We acquired a dog from my brother-in-law. Long story short, didn't work out. At this point in our life, we're not dog compatible people, but built this awesome dog house. It weighs a ton. I can't get rid of it. I can't even get rid of it for free. One thing that I was thinking about is a chicken coop. I don't know. That's just crazy talk with me. But if you look right now, it's just storage for just a bunch of random stuff for my projects. If you can. And we also got some guests over there. I don't know if you can. Maybe we can zoom in. They have to get rid of those before I do anything with it. Here in the pool, I'm gonna head over to my parents' house for some steak dinners. With that, I'll leave you and I will see you next time. Go back.